happening now in North Carolina. Two surgeons successfully completing a procedure on a first of its kind prosthetic hand where the individual fingers are controlled by the patient's own muscles. Let's bring in surgeons responsible for this amazing feat, Dr. Glenn Gaston and Dr. Brian Loeffler. Thank you very much for joining us. Thanks, Heather. Uh, Thank you for having us. Dr. Gaston, I'll begin with you. Uh, how is this different than prosthetic hands in the past? Well, the past prosthetic hands that we've had have enabled patients to move their thumb and then all four fingers as a unit. And the limitation's been they can't move each finger by itself. Mm -hmm. So what so, we were able to do is move some muscles from the one side of the hand to allow each finger to move on its own in the prosthesis. And that's what I was going to ask, Dr. Loeffler. Could you explain a little bit more how this, this is amazing, amazing footage as we watch. How does this happen? Dr. Well, Loeffler? some of the mu some of the muscles that control the fingers actually reside in the hand. They're just deep and buried in between the bones. Mm -hmm. And so what we were able to do is to save those muscles along with their nerve and blood supply and place them into a different location such that when the patient thinks to contract those muscles to actually move those individual fingers, that that muscle contraction can be picked up by an electrode which can then send that signal to a prosthetic individual finger to allow it to move just the way the patient wants it to. This is amazing. And so are those electrodes under the muscles or are they along the skin overlying the muscles? Dr. Gasson? They're on the skin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're like, the electrodes are on the skin, so we put the muscles right underneath the skin so that they can be detected by the prosthesis. So why was this patient um, a good candidate, and would any uh, person who has sustained a full or partial amputation of their hand be eligible or a good candidate for this? Dr. Loeffler? This patient was an excellent candidate for that because his injuries were <clears throat> at the level where the fingers meet the hand, and so the muscles that some of the muscles that control those individual fingers were still completely intact. They still had their nerve and blood supply. And so uh, when the amputation was performed, we were able to save those muscles that otherwise would have been lost along with their nerve and blood supply and place them into that different location so that they would be able to do what we had designed them to do. Yeah, I mean, when you're talking about the, the muscles and the nerves and the hand, uh, what are the risks involved in something like this, this type of surgery? Dr. Gaston? Well, the nice thing for him is the risks weren't too great because if we had d not done this surgery, he would have just a standard prosthesis that's available. Mm -hmm. So doing this surgery allowed the possibility of improved function while having a fairly low risk profile. And then finally, Dr. Loeffler, how can this new surgery benefit other amputees moving forward, not just hands? Well, our goal is to disseminate the information to other surgeons um, so that <clears throat> when they encounter a patient who's had a similar injury, that they'll be able to uh, apply the same surgical technique and then work with their um, colleagues who in prosthetists uh, to, to be able to essentially replicate what we've been able to do. Mm -hmm. And then in <clears throat> cases where amputations are even more severe and an entire hand is lost, if the surgeon is aware of the possibility that the nerves and blood supply to those muscles can be uh, preserved when they're performing that amputation and preserve those muscles, then that they may actually be able to incorporate the same concept for patients who've had even more severe yeah, injuries. And it really would be remarkable. Uh, doc Dr. Gaston, Dr. Loeffler, thank you so much. And you know, you're giving a hope to a lot of amputees all across the country. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Heather. Appreciate it. Thank you.